Let's take a look at how to use the GPT AI Power Image Generator. This offers support for DALI as well as stable diffusion. We'll go through both of them, starting with DALI. On the DALI tab, you'll see a prompt box along with the Surprise Me and Generate buttons. The Surprise Me button will generate random prompts, and the Generate button is what you'll click when you're ready to create your images. To the right is the customizable settings that we'll use to decide the image's outcome. Let's get started. Under the Settings option, you'll first see the Artist tab. This allows you to pick a style of art from many famous artists. You can also select none. I really like Rembrandt, so I'm going to select him here. Next, we can choose our style. I'm going to select Surrealism, but there are countless options here. Below that, we have Photography, where you can choose the type of image you want. This is similar to style, but focus more on the layout of the image rather than the style itself. Next, choose the lighting for the photograph. I usually like ambient, but let's go with soft light here. Now we can choose the subject of the image. This will be totally specific on your prompt. Below that, we'll select the type of camera we want the image to portray. I'm going to select movie quality. Next, I'll leave the composition as rule of thirds, so the image comes out nice and even looking. For the resolution, I'd like it to be 4K, so I'm going to leave this setting alone. Next, we can change the colors used in the generated images. I'll change this to hex. Under special effects, I'm just going to choose clarity. We'll make the size 1024 by 1024. And the final option is how many iterations of the image you like to generate. I think six is plenty, so let's leave that be. Now that we're done, I'm going to click generate. After a few seconds, your results will show up below. If you like them, you can select the ones you want to keep and click save to media. It's that simple. Now let's try this with Stable Diffusion. To do this, we must first add a Stable Diffusion API to our GPT AI Power account. Let's do that now. Now here you may want to navigate to Stable Diffusion for an API key, but you actually need to go to Replicate. If you simply click Get API Key in your Settings tab, it'll take you directly there. Once you've signed in, just copy your API key and paste it back into GPT AI Power's Image Setting tab. Now you're ready to go. Back on the Stable Diffusion tab, let's choose the settings we'd like. I'll go with Pablo Picasso for Artist. I'd like to choose New Realism for the style, and Photography should be Portrait. The lighting will be Softbox. I'm going to choose Portrait for the subject as well. Let's go with Movie Quality for the camera setting. I'm going to leave Composition alone, as well as the Resolution and Color. For Special Effects, let's try Cinemagraph. Now for the width and height, let's make them both 1024 pixels. And the last few settings, we'll also leave them alone. They directly affect how the AI handles the prompt. Now let's generate. Uh, I don't really like this image, so I'm going to try another example. Other than changing the prompt itself, I'm going to specifically change the artist to Da Vinci and the style back to surrealism. Let's see how this turns out. Whoa, this photo is pretty cool. When you find a photo you like, like this one, simply select it and click Save Media. It'll now save itself into your WordPress media section. There's now only one more thing to show you for the image generator, and that's the shortcodes. So if you want to display your DALI or Stable Diffusion generators onto your website via post or page, all you have to do is copy and paste these shortcodes into your page. You can choose between DALI, Stable Diffusion, both of them, and you can even include the settings tab if you'd like. Now, if you do this, you may want to limit the usage so guests don't run up your API bills. I'll show you how to do that now. If you go to the settings tab, you'll see price handling at the very top. You're going to want to click limit registered user and limit non-registered user. You can now add a price limit for both registered and unregistered users. You can give them a notice once they've reached their limit and you can even reset the limit on a certain time period. Below that, you're able to customize the buttons they see. This is the buttons like the Surprise Me button and the Generate button, as well as View Image, Save Media, and Select All. Now the one last feature for Image Generator is going to be your log. When you click the Log tab, it'll show you all of the images that have been generated with your GPT AI Power Image Generator. Now as you can see here, I've probably ran up a few dollars just doing this tutorial. So if you place these on a public website, I highly recommend you limit the usage to your guests because it's much more expensive than DaVinci 
or GPT-4. We've now successfully generated photos with Dolly and with Stable Diffusion. I hope this helps you understand everything you need to know about using GPT-AI Power's Image Generator. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below.